So today we're going to look at uh, adding my nice new MX67 into the dashboard. So yesterday we added in the license and claimed the license and now we're going to look at uh, actually making it do something. Okay, so this is my dashboard. Uh, you can see I've got one network named Aardvark, long story. Um, let's just view those all those networks uh, and you can see that uh, I've just got this, this one network. Um, but within my licensing I've got uh, a pair of MX67s, uh, so I, I need to claim them. So they're, they're in, they're in the licensing, so now what I need to do is I need to uh, add those into the uh, device. So now if we come into the organisation and look into the inventory, uh, I should have two claim devices here that aren't in any network. And if you notice, if I try and add those two, or add this first one into an existing network, um, it's going to complain because it'll only let you have uh, this one MX device in a network. If you add a second, it has to be a same same hardware. Uh, that's what I'm going to do with this second MX. I'm going to add it into the network as a uh, as a as a hot spare, but we'll do that later. Okay, so we can either create a new network from the inventory, um, and let's call this uh, what do we call it? Branch. Um, and then we'll use the defaults uh, and we can either clone um, the existing setup that I've got for, for my network, Aardvark, which is my home network, or I could use a template which I've started to set up called Branch. So let's just uh, use the defaults for the time being and let's just add that and let's see what it does. So there it goes, you can see it's added into the network branch. Um, and if I come into my networks now, I should see that I've got the drop down. I've got two networks. Why is it not showing me that second network? There it is. And it's showing me that this is a appliance network. Now, obviously, we don't particularly want that because you may have switches and things. Um, so if I had other networks, um, I can combine them um, so that you get a combined network like this one but we've have only got a single MX to add so that's what I can do at this moment. So if I now switch to uh, that network um, I should be able to switch to my branch network and that will bring up that it's not connected to the cloud and uh, there's no data for it uh, but you notice that I've got insights I haven't got a license for insights yet um, so hopefully I'll add that in. So effectively, that's added this device into the cloud. I'm not going to pause while I go and connect the uh, connect this unit uh, and actually get some power to it, so we can actually start to see some uh, some data on this page. So a couple of minutes have passed. I've fixed my switch problem, which basically meant it wasn't connecting to the switch, uh, and now you can start to see that it's now starting to turn on and power on and sort out the firmware um, so obviously this internet port's gone 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 green and so actually now we've got a, a a working system so notice here this one connection has just popped up on a internal address that's because i've just popped this unit onto my uh, home land segment just to give there and now it's recognized that it's actually going out through a another NAT, so that's actually now the external IP address of my uh, homeland. So that's my ISP's provided address, whereas it was previously um, was running on the uh, the IP address of the, of the LAN. So if we now go in, we can should now just be able to start to uh, get a better view of what we've got. That should now work. So there we've got it green. It's gone green. So it's been seen within the Meraki dashboard. I can now start to give it some proper proper names. Um, and save that. Um, and then you'll see that I've now got my usual dashboard with those clients. So no clients, obviously. Uh, so the first thing we would then try and do now we've got it into the dashboard is to start and look at the addresses. Um, now, the way that we're going to use this initially is we're going to use it as a, a routed firewall rather than a VPN concentrator. Um, 
we're going to track my MAC address just in case there's any uh, uh, settings. We're not looking at tracking by IP address because we haven't got any layer three devices sitting behind it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to change this away from the um, from the standard 193, and I'm just going to use uh, 3.0 slash 24, um, and I'm going to call them the MX 3.1. It leaves a single LAN for the time being. Um, so what we've got is effect. We've got my local LAN, which is uh, 192.168.1. Um, the transit LAN VLAN over to my BT internet is uh, 168.2, and this is my first branch is going to be .3. Um, remember to save. And that save has changed. So now we've got the unit in the branch. If I come and look, look at all the networks, um, you see my Ardvark, my base kit, and you'll see my appliance, and everything's connected.